What's up, everyone? It's Dave, and we are back with our next reading of the New Testament. Um, for those who have been following along, you know that we're in the book of Revelation, and we're going to be starting chapter 12 today. Um, today, I'm going to read out of my um, the Reformation Study Bible. So um, this is the one by R.C. Sproul, and he's the, the general editor of it, and it's the New King James Version. So it's a very thick um, study Bible. Um, but, uh, if you, if you need a study Bible and you want to spend the money, I do recommend this one a lot. Um, I, I really, really like it. Um, uh, there is a link down below if you're interested, but, um, remember you can read the Bible for free on Bible.com and, um, the Version app. All right. Um. The version app can be pretty much downloaded on any uh, Android or iOS device, I believe. <clears throat> and I use both. I use Bible.com and I use the version app. Um, today, chapter 12, we're going to talk about the woman, the child, and the dragon. Satan thrown out of heaven and the woman persecuted for a total of 17 verses. I think this puts us just about halfway through, if I'm not mistaken. I think there's like 24 chapters, 22, something like that. 20, 21? Nope, 22. So we're, uh, actually, I guess we're just over halfway through. So, all right. Um, if you're ready, we will go ahead and get started. <clears throat> now a great sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a garland of twelve stars. Then, being with child, she cried out in labor and in pain to give birth. And another sign appeared in heaven. Behold, a great fiery red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven diadems on its head. His tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth, to devour her child as soon as it was born. She bore a male child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up to God and his throne. Then the woman fled into the wilderness where she has a place prepared by God, that they should feed her there 1,260 days. And war broke out in heaven Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought. But they did not prevail, nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was cast out, the serpent of old called the devil and Satan, who deceives the world, the whole world. He was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ have come for the accuser of our brethren, who accused him before our God day and night has been cast down. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to the death. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, O you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. Now when the dragon saw that he had been cast down, have been cast to the earth, he persecuted the woman who gave birth to the man to the male child. But the woman was given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness to her place, where she is nourished for time and times and half a time for the presence of the serpent, from the presence of the serpent. So the serpent spewed water out of his mouth like a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away by the flood. But the Earth helped the woman, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon had spewed out of its mouth. And the dragon was enraged with the woman, and he went to make war with the rest of her offspring, who kept the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. All right, that concludes chapter 12 of the book of Revelations. I hope you all had a great time uh, with me as I read that. Uh, this is definitely some, some very deep stuff to think about and to read. And that's where one of these kinds of Bibles comes into play. So you can kind of go through and be like, all right, what's that talking about, you know? Um, so I really enjoy uh, a, a good study Bible. If you don't have one, I do recommend that you get one. All right. 
Thanks for following us uh, all this time. We're almost done with the New Testament. It's been like two and a half years. But uh, hey, we worked on it, right? And uh, we're, we're going to we're going to win. All right, we're going to prevail. All right, from Central Texas. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have an amazing Friday. God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess, he's right there to guide you, unseen you're not alone.